the summer weather is upon us and things are really heating up on Rollercoin with a new Rich Beach progression event and more. Stay tuned. Okay, so it is almost summer, but the weather is already quite hot indeed, at least in the part of my world. And it's no different on Rollercoin and it's heating up quite a bit with all the events that are going on. On my screen here, you can see the Rollercoin homepage and here you can see the events that are currently going on at the very, very top. There is the Rich Beach Progression event. So let's check this out. If we go to more details here, you can see that for this progression event, there are currently still five days and seven hours remaining at the time of recording this video. And the most powerful miner in this event is the Beachside Billionaire at 3.15 petahash, and that is the uncommon version, okay? So here you can see that to get to a higher difficulty level in the game, you will be getting 500 points, spending one RLT except the marketplace or accept the crafting offer, that's another 1,000 points, spend one RLT in the marketplace, that's 200 points, and spend one RLT for crafting offer, that's 5,000 points, for the last three, obviously that's for each and every RLT, and that's with a times one multiplier. Obviously, if you have more of a multiplier than times one, then you will obviously need to multiply those points by the multiplier that you have. So I'm currently at this level at the moment. I believe that's probably either level three or level four. I haven't gone that much into it yet. This did start yesterday. Um, so we've still got a bit more time remaining. Now, something that I'd like to point out is that at the time of recording this video, at the very same time, there is also the puzzle event, which still has another one day and six hours remaining at the time of recording this video. So you can actually play those games and be leveling up both in the progression event and completing certain quests that you have and tasks here in the puzzle event as well. Like for example, playing 400 games and winning 400 games, okay? So I'm almost there. I've got another 121 games remaining at the moment, but I'm pretty confident that I'll get there for that. If you do exchange RLT, maybe to get the multiplier for the progression event, then you'll be hitting this puzzle event as well. So you'll be getting the rewards even from the top and even from the puzzle itself, plus even more rewards from the progression event. So keep these little tips and tricks in mind because you'll be getting more than double. You'll probably get be getting triple rewards uh, when you're doing this, especially for every four in the puzzle event that you'll hit because you'll be getting rewards from the puzzle pieces and also from the top taskbar at the top as well. Some of these miners cannot be sold, like for example, this American spirit, this can't be sold, so grab it while you can. So back to the progression event, and I'm gonna go through the list of rewards that you can get in the progression event, thanks to Piero's list. So Rich Beach running from the 7th of June till the 13th of June, 1500 UTC time. There are 20 levels and a one level premium level additional reward that you can get, which is the Beachside Billionaire Uncommon Type Miner. And that's going to give you another 4.5% bonus attached to it as well. Okay. So starting from level one, you start off with 15 RST and you move down the list with a couple of event passes as well, seven EXP and 20 EXP at level five. You also get uh, Burge Edges if you don't have those. Um, there are no bonuses attached with the uh, third level one, which is what I'm currently on, but there is with the rare Burge Edge at 0.2% if you don't already own that miner. You'll get a couple of racks as well at level eight. There's the Fury Rack eight, which will give you a 3% bonus. There is also the Jet Black Rack eight with a 2% bonus at level 11. We've got the Flaming Go Miner at level 12 with 50 terahash and half a percent bonus. Going further down the list, level 16 Swedish Miracle Rack will give you a 6% bonus and Country Loading, the rare type Country Loading Miner, will give you 348 terahash and a 1.66% bonus attached to it as well. Chase Lounge will give you 452 terahash at 0.29% and that is the epic variant of that miner. Beatside Billionaire, the normal type, okay, so the common type is 1.2 petahash with a 3.5% 
bonus. So that's just the normal type with the uncommon, as I mentioned before, with 4.5% bonus and 3.15 peta hash. Okay, so here I wonder what the Unreal would be like because that's already quite high in the very early stages. So just to go through the total amount of rewards that you'll be getting, so from level 1 to level 20, if you manage to get all the rewards and all the miners, you'll be getting 2.7 peta hash with 7.94% bonus attached to those miners that you don't already have. You'll get a temporary power of 250 terahash. hash, 27 EXP points to get through the season and 115 RST. It's all the same for the EXP, RST, temporary bonus, uh, but it's different for the total minor power with the premium level where you'll go up by another 3.15 petahash to 5.9 total petahash if you manage to get that premium level minor. So 5.9 petahash with 12.44% total bonus when you actually manage to get that miner. Now, a couple of other things I wanted to mention besides just this progression event is also the other uh, Imperials that are currently for sale. And here you can see Imperial miners are quite expensive indeed, but they're gonna give you massive loads bucket amount of power. Okay, so there's the Imperial Mine Ultra with 780 Peta hash, peta hash with a P, 15% bonus. That's going to cost you 3.89 ETH. Okay, 3.89 ETH is almost $10,000. Okay, I think that's I, if Ethereum is still at around 3,000 something, that's going to put you very close to that $10,000 mark for that miner. There is the Imperial Mine Light, which is 45 terahash, but will give you 3% bonus. 0.19 ETH, that's still quite expensive. Um, I think that would come to around $150 equivalent, depending on Ethereum's price, when you actually uh, decide to get this, if you actually decide to get these. I'm not going to go for these. I mean, they're really great when it comes to power. I mean, this... Imperial Mine Ultra will give me my entire room power, uh, almost the same amount of power that I've got um, and that I've been working hard for for the past year and a half on Rollercoin. Um, so that would give me almost the same amount. Um, at the moment, I am at almost 1 EH. I was at 1 EH with the temporary bonuses. Uh, dropped down a bit now because I lost those because those were just for one week. But I'm very close to the 1 EH. Um, and that miner would almost give me all that power again. So, uh, yes, it'll give you loads of power, but it's going to cost you a pretty penny. So, besides the Imperial Miners, there is also the Imperial Cases. Another four days remaining for those. And you can actually open this Imperial Case. It will cost you 6.7 Matic. Uh, obviously, do your homework, see how much Matic is at the moment, times 6.7, and you'll know how much you're actually spending when it comes to fiat currencies more details you'll see that the weakest miner that you can get is the deep dive at 226 terahash and the most prestigious miner the most powerful that you can get is one of those miners imperial mine ultra for example the one that i just mentioned with the 15 percent bonus so i'd much rather take my chance at this imperial case hoping to maybe try and get one of these instead of spending uh, loads more okay to uh, actually purchase it but that's me maybe you just want to purchase it and get on with it crafting offers remember that in the rich beach progression event i did mention that there are 5,000 points for each one rlt that you spend in a crafting offer do take advantage of that and if you can actually get a higher multiplier that will blast off the points and help you get through the progression event much much faster remember that to get to the very final you're going to have to get 10.2 million points plus another 6 million so you're going to need 16.2 million in total to get all of those miners 16.2 million i've seen uh progression events where you needed much more than that and you can achieve that especially with a multiplier i'd say probably around the time 16 multiplier should be sufficient for you to get all of those rewards again 
opening the cases and things like that. That's what I normally like to do with a multiplier. will help you get through the progression event even faster as well. But like I mentioned, take advantage of the crafting office. Currently, there is another six hours remaining at the time of recording these videos for these summer craft crafting office. Okay, you can easily acquire these. You'll be spending 1.33 RLT, for example, if you get the token surfboard here, but you can obviously get the token surfboard as well um, by adding a few more parts in there and getting it in a shorter time frame as well. And that's good when you actually have a multiplier because your time will be limited of how many you can craft all at once, obviously. So at the moment, I can actually craft two because I've got enough parts to do so, okay? So I might be doing that if I actually have a multiplier. I wouldn't do it without the multiplier because that would give me 5,000 times 1.33, for example, and 5,000 times 1.99. If I have a multiplier, I would have to times that as well. So that would give me even more points and I'd get the most out of the summer craft. I would have exchanged some crypto into RLT. And at the moment, if I do exchange Solana, there is a 35% discount at the time of recording this video. If you exchange TRX, there is a 20% discount. So take advantage of these opportunities because they will cost you less to get the same value and amount of money, especially when there are puzzle events and progression events going on all at the same time, okay? Because you'll get through those events much faster and you won't have to spend nearly as much as you would if there were no discounts going on. The last thing that I did want to mention briefly is that if you open the items panel at the moment, you can see that the items panel rework has already started to uh, show here. So you can see miners and racks, you can split those. So no more going back to the very end to find those racks. You can just click miners and racks. You can also sort the racks by bonus high to low and capacity high to low and date new to old. You can sort the miners by highest power to lowest power and bonus highest to lowest as well. Sales count highest to lowest as well. So this is already there. It's already been there a few weeks and the Rollercoin team have just recently made an announcement as well that the item panel rework is coming and it's coming very, very soon. I had, I believe they had already mentioned the start of summer, early summer. So we're almost there. So that will show you the new graphical interface. I did do a video on this. You can check it out in the link above or in the description below this video. And uh, it will show you exactly in that blog how it will look like uh, going forward, where you can strategically place your miners and it will help you better to put the best miners that you have in your room without much hassle from your end, okay? So that's coming very, very soon and part of it is already implemented already here in the items panel. So I hope that you found this video useful. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below, smash the like button and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.